story for today is about the man who was sent by God to save his enemies. Welcome to Joey's Bible Puppet Show! Jonah was a prophet of God. The Lord said to Jonah, Go to the city of Nineveh and tell them that I will punish them for their wicked ways. Nineveh was the capital of Assyria. The Assyrians were very cruel to the Israelites. They were invading the kingdom of Israel, Jonah's people. So instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah headed to Tarshish. He found a boat going to Tarshish, very far away from Nineveh. While they were in the sea, a big storm came. The waves blew and the waves rose. The boat was about to break. The sailors were so scared. And they said to Jonah, Pray to your God to save us from the storm. Jonah said, I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land. Throw me into the sea. I have disobeyed God's command. And it is because of me that you were in this big storm. The sailors didn't want to throw Jonah into the sea, but the storm became stronger and stronger. Throw me down into the sea so you can be safe. So they picked Jonah up and threw him into the sea. Storm stopped and the sea was calm. God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah up. Gobble, gobble, gobble. For three long days and three long nights, he was inside the big fish. While inside the stomach, he prayed to God. He said, Lord, you threw me into the deep waters and the waves swept over me. But you have kept me alive. And you heard my prayer. I promise to obey your command. You and you alone can save me and everybody in this world. So God commanded the big fish to bring Jonah to dry land. God said to Jonah, Go to the city of Nineveh and tell them the message I have told you. So Jonah went to the big city of Nineveh and told the people, Because of your wicked ways, God will punish you after 40 days. The Ninevites believed and repented. They stopped doing bad things. God saw their actions and He did not punish them. Sometimes God will ask us to reach out to people who have hurt us. Most of the time we won't want to do it. We'd rather run and hide. Alone it's impossible to do. So let God's love swallow you whole. Let Him change you that you may help change others. God calls us to love even our enemies because Jesus loves everybody. Yay! What story would you like us to do next? Put it in the comments below. See you next!